I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Nice, nice. Oh, our truth. I get you booked in Mexico, boy. I get to my college, you call me out of the gym, you can't wait, because you can't go home, man. I'll finish it. Stop texting me. Oh, he doesn't have any text. Oh, yes, he does. I don't know if he does actually. I didn't read all of them. Okay, how you doing? Instead of worrying about movie auditions, thanks for the advice, but maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title. Who do you Is have? that a serious question? Here's my no. response with another EST for you. No interest. Damn. <laughs> Apparently we've been holding the belt for like a year now, so that's pretty cool. Our truth. I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I green light your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. On so second you can thought. Be okay. How about I Sorry, make man. Fine. To be honest, I'm not really a <sighs> I don't feel like you're freezing. Let's continue this story. I want to verse the Miz. Whoop the Miz's ass. Sorry, uh, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank and file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's going to end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here. By completely immersing oh, yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line, and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Uh, 
Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. Uh, I don't know. I mean, does it matter? <laughs> They're holed up in Donnie's mom's basement. I know because information isn't the only thing Donnie's mom plays fast and loose with. That's not quite what I had in mind. Uh, let's take five, okay? Face it, you're just not cut out for this. Am I is there actually, am I supposed to know what I'm supposed <sighs> I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. Actually, this one. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck. Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? Okay. I don't know, bro. This is some weird crap. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> I have to do two. Okay, Miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? That wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director! The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock? Country? Hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're gonna stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> nice.
Nice. Monday night, bro. Oh, put him on. Yo, bro, I'm about to win this world. I'm gonna like around with you. I don't know where, when we're at, actually. Where's some old yoga, bro? Where's some old yoga? Like... Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want a part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant. His wife forced him to hire, so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Going off script with the slap, but I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? <sighs> cut, cut, that's a wrap. Is anyone filming this? Oh, yeah. Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. What the fuck? She's. Oh, my God. Oh, suplex. Shit. Boo. Brah. Brooklyn to Red Health. Drop kick. That was so We're pretty honest. close to red health. Oh damn! I'm on the floor. Oh, damn! She just reversed it. Doing like little leg drops and crap. She wearing the same damn outfit every fucking time I see her. This is gonna wash. 
wash away the taste of shame from the last time in Park City. Damn, okay. Hopefully I get a friggin' reversal. Oh, she's bad to her finisher. Don't go, stun it! like old times <laughs> that was what I walked her ass the whole time she barely hit me got me one leg dropped on out for the count I guess he can't have me whooping her ass yet Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Okay, 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 okay! Do you know what I taste? My own tears. Oh shit. Oh damn it. How do you reverse that? Oh, that's how. Oi. Ooh, smack him with the hammer. <clears throat> Gerald, Gerald, clear my calendar for award season. Ooh, smack him with the bat. Oh, damn, he reached my finisher. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, brilliant. <sighs> damn. That sound, though. So bad. Oh shoot. Is anyone Damn. Is anyone? Get me a camera. Get me a camera. No. Now. Oh shoot, German suplex to the table. Get that guy off my set! I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at 
enemy. Okay, that's lunch. Hell yeah, lunch time. Ms. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure. I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring, and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off, but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So, if you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. Is there no commentary? No, I'm waiting for the commentary, but I don't hear the commentary. What the hell, man? Oh, it looks like your boy is taking on the Miz and Marie's. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, that's how you do a real wake up time. That's pretty cool. R2 plus top on the D pad. Okay. Okay. Y'all you, you, you utilize that information properly. Hopefully. Maybe. I will definitely. Eventually. I'm bound for crying. I don't like SmackDown's new theme. SmackDown's new theme is ass. I like Rawls though. Rawls' theme is good. It's good. Pretty good. 
about as good as a theme for Raw can get. I wish SmackDown just went back to like the older theme song, you know what I'm saying? SmackDown got bring like a fist back crap, you know? Are we gonna do it together or is that our gimmick? Nope. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. What if I booked her into a match? <laughs> We literally can't even enter as a tag team, that's crazy. And from New York, weighing in at 198 pounds, Coyote! Coyote! It's an old job, right? Is he gonna like attack me sometime or something? We are so lucky to be here for They even entered together, so I guess this is all school. They probably have to fly her out or something because he's making impromptu matches and shit. <laughs> Can we please have quiet on the set? You're not even gonna be on the set after tonight, baby. This is such an intriguing matchup, but you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen. Because from what I heard about their audition dust up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Oh, Ooh, yeah, nice name. Oh, shit. Oh, she's not looking good here. The first thing she needs to do is somehow get out of that corner. There you go. Oh, that's just insulting. Oh, foot just stomping down. We should not even have a freaking payback. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. Oh, damn. There have been plenty of WWE stars who had their first exposure on our reality competition tough enough but the biggest star to emerge from the franchise has to be the Miz yeah, oh shoot Negri oh no she's the gonna tag him saw something in the future A-lister and he trained for years before breaking through to yeah, the what the hell float over neck breaker picture perfect he might have been waiting on that one oh. check right to the next section there you go when Monday Night Raw comes to your town, do us a favor. Make sure you show up to be a part of the longest running weekly episodic television show in history. In off the tag. There you go. Hot little bit of a nice tag. Boop. Oh, look at us. We better the same move. I think I speak for everybody here in WWE when I say it's Ooh. great to be back in Buffalo tonight. What an amazing crowd. Yo, what the hell? Very curious move to go for a pinfall. That's, that's, that was good. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Oh, oh. that's the impact. It looks like it might all be over for the Ooh. team of Maurice and Miz. What is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the it couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away. I think there's your answer on who played the footage. That was a coordinated effort among those three. Hey, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton. Does not look like Maurice. <laughs> not at all. I mean, it's a little bit there, but a little bit's not enough. So I'm saying, baby.